Hi and welcome back to the channel. I hope you find this information useful and that it helps you out and be safe. All right, welcome back. This uh, wet episode, uh, not necessarily a welding engineering topic per se, but maybe just a uh, manufacturing type topic is. Uh, and on that note, uh, I'm wearing my Ferris State jacket. It's the school I went to, Ferris State University. Just a little shout out to them and their welding. They kind of, the degree in the program is more or less geared towards a manufacturing engineer with a very heavy emphasis on welding. And so, that being said, this tip is a little bit more towards the uh, manufacturing side and it's on your hoist and putting in a uh, I guess block and tackle of what I would call it so that you can then multiply your lifting capability and it's not so much that in this case what I need is I don't need to multiply my lifting but what it does is it takes some of the load off of your actual winch or hoist uh, like mine is uh, by itself single line rated at 1500 pounds and so what's going to happen when I put in this second lay of wire is that it's going to it's going to effectively make it so that it can max out at 3000 but in all realisticness I have a an application coming up where I'm going to do a heavy lift shortly, hopefully, and I just want to have instead of all a thousand pounds on the 1500 pound line, I would rather only have 500 pounds on this. So, so what I got going here, this lifting block, and uh, probably will have to find. Yeah, I'm going to have to find some wrenches, but you know, you, you take this off, swing this out of the way, and then put your line through. And uh, then when you bring it back up, actually when I designed this up here, I originally designed it so that I could come back if I wanted to and hook this on here. specifically for this. Uh, hindsight, I may have wanted to have bent this a little bit out so that I'm holding it a little bit away, but that is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some wrenches, take this apart, hook it up, and I'll be back. And while I've got this taken apart, I'm actually going to throw some grease in there as well. So, all right, so not a lot of grease, just enough. Spin it around, get the grease on it. So some of the math behind it is now that I can do twice the load, effectively going up and down now, it's only going to be half as fast this way. Yeah, 
And without having a safety switch to turn this on and off, I gotta make sure that I don't raise it up to the point of where I bind the block. That's my engineering tip of the week being able to double your lifting load. And as always, keep in mind, just because I doubled the load here, there, you gotta still remember what is your weakest link. Like, um, now that the winch is good for 3,000 pounds, you still gotta know what your chains or your slings will handle. This, uh, the pulley block's 4,000 pounds. Uh, my trolley is 2,000 pounds. And the, the gantry crane is 2,000 pounds. So with this setup, currently right now, I'm really looking at about 2,000 pound load, so, or lift. So, all right. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe.